most people ask the opposite question, are there alternatives to surgery because they don't want to have the downtime of surgery. But the best, longest lasting results are going to be <clears throat> with surgery such as facelifting uh, or cheek implants or chin implants. These create results that, that last many, many, many years and don't need to be uh, redone every so many months. We're talking about injectables here. There's Botox, which is a muscle relaxant and dysport. And then there are fillers. There's Restylane and Juvederm. These are hyaluronic acids that we use to plump up the lips, fill these nasolabial folds, and other lines. Those last somewhere about six to nine months. Then there's Radius. Radius is another filler. This is calcium hydroxylapatite. That's used for deeper areas like folds in here and in the cheeks. And then there's a newer one called Sculptra, which is polylactic acid that actually uses the body's own healing process to build the result. It's done in a series of, of three injections spaced about a month apart. And we inject this material into areas that have lost volume. Going to be the cheeks and older people, the nasolabial folds, and the body creates the result in the same way that a piece of sand in an oyster creates a pearl. The body reacts to it and builds up. But it's a process. It's not just one injection as with Restylane, Juvederm, Radius, but it's a series of three injections and this is the only product, Sculpture, that's been shown by the FDA to last at least two years and may even last longer.